guys, how's it going? As you can kind of tell from the scenery behind me here, I have my own lease purchase truck and I have been out over the road for how many runs now? I think this is my this is my fourth run, fourth, third, third run going into fourth. So I am sorry that I haven't been able to keep you guys updated. It has been so hard. Even the Patriots, like, trying to keep up with that content has been crazy. But, no, I've been trying to keep everybody updated on Patreon and bring them along every step of the journey. But I am going to be releasing videos to you guys over the next week. And you guys are going to see the whole story and get to find out what type of truck I got. See if you guys can guess in the meantime in the comments. But... No, I am over the road, and so far I am having a blast. Brittany is touring the country, and you will never guess what truck I got. Anyway, I just wanted to say that I absolutely love you guys, and no matter if you're on the Patreon side or if you're on the YouTube side, your every bit is valuable and important to me. So, Patreon's just a creative way that, you know, I can keep the channel supported and keep things flowing and do different things. So, Anyway, I will include a link in the description box below and in the first highlighted comment on the comments below. So for anybody that wants to come over on Patreon, I am updating everybody like daily. So but to the extended family on YouTube, I am going to be releasing all these videos in the coming weeks. So stay tuned, but it gets really, really exciting. The whole process. Love you guys. number three of orientation we only have two days of orientation at RTI so but a lot of it's kind of my fault and the other drivers fault in a way it's not really our fault but it's because of us things got held up yesterday because we had some additional questions about lease which I must say RTI was amazing at going back to the higher-ups getting things figured out getting all the answers for us and making sure that we had trucks that we were happy with so I really appreciated that anyway I'm supposed to be here at 9 30 uh, it is like 9 19 right now and God I found a parking spot that's the only bad thing it's growing pains from a quickly growing company and it seems to be for good reasons because so far I am very impressed one thing in truck driving always if you're going to a trucker truck driving orientation always be early guys like always because that is your first impression. You want your first impression. First impressions are usually the best you're going to give somebody. And if your first impression is being late at a trucking orientation, what's that going to say about you being on time with your loads? Is how a lot of companies look at it for good reason. So, impress them, be on time. I got my folder, my LP folder. So, anyway, guys, I'll catch up with you after I get out of class. Love you guys. Hey guys, I just got out of orientation, finished everything up there. Oh, there is so much stuff to think about when it comes to a new truck. Like, the good thing is they have it all under control. Like, they have probably 20 different staff members all working on each and every piece and part of what it takes to, you know, get you in your own truck. And so everybody's doing a great job. I am going to come back on Monday and meet with the guy in charge of the trucks and I'm gonna pick out a temp truck for right now. I'm gonna be putting in a request for a so we'll see if we get it. Um, the one good thing about this company is they will let you pick out your own truck. However, they don't stock everything because being a big company, you know, it's cheaper to buy these trucks in bulk. So they only have select few trucks in stock and they gotta wait until the next round of trucks come in. So. 
I'll end up taking a temp truck. I think it's going to be a Freightliner, honestly. Um, they seem to be better on fuel economy. They turn better backing and things like that. Plus, the back, a lot of them have this where the sleeper bed folds up. And then you can set up like a little seating area, like two seats and a table back there. So I figured, you know what? I'd be happy with that for, you know, two to four weeks or whatever it takes them to get me. So that is what I'm going after right now. I'm going to do some running around. I got to get my medical card attach the license like I said so many things are involved with CDL stuff like it's crazy guys it's well worth it it's a great career to have and I'm really getting excited today we watched a video on the whole lease program and how to look at it from you know um, from a lease purchase standpoint that you know it's your own business now you know you're contracting with or putting the truck under you know RTI but at the same time you're in charge of your business so there's a load you just can't take you're not you just tell them you can't take it you know but you got to factor in all of the costs of all of that of course you know what it's gonna cost me to take some home time how I can balance that out there's so many tricks of the trade that I can't wait to share with you guys on videos and stuff about you know managing your fuel and filling up you know maybe two times at cheaper locations during the trip because you're gonna end up in California or someplace the fuel's gonna be really expensive you know so and that comes right out of your check I mean ultimately there's surcharges and there's different discounts and other things that factor in but at the end of the day if you let's say filled up in KC and then went to California and filled up the tank there a second time at the end of your trip so what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna have a $600 fuel bill in KC and maybe a seven seven hundred fifty dollar fuel bill in California because it's more expensive so that extra hundred fifty bucks is coming out of your pocket like that's less money you're gonna make that week because you bought fuel at a premium so yeah without getting into all of it because it's been hours of orientation I am really excited guys like I'm excited to learn all these different things apparently there's apps that can automatically track you know the cheapest fuel location out of various truck stops like pilot Flying J, which is where I'd probably go or loves because we get a discount there so you know there's so many tricks that you know you save 200 this week on fuel that's $200 in your pocket that you're taking home or putting away in savings so I'm excited to learn the business side. You guys know how my mind works, it's like really analytical and I like to figure things out. I think that's why I liked law enforcement back in the day. It was the whole figuring things out, playing detective. And I was pretty good at it. But anyway, I have running around to do and then I gotta get back here. I'm gonna meet with one of the managers in the company and I had some things I wanna to talk to her about real fast. And then I will be hopefully switching my license to Kansas today. The average wait there is like hours, so not high hopes on that. Anyway, love you guys. More later. has a two point something rating. This used to be one of the like most highly rated 
DMVs in the area. It's like a little contract office, so they work for, they work with the DMV, but not directly. They, they're not the DMV, but they work like for, with them. I don't know how that works. All I know is they're like independent business and their goal is to make you happy when you come in. So that's a very unique situation for the DMV. It's a business that wants to make you happy and has access to their systems to get things done. So I'm good with that. That is a okay with me. Da da da. Still kind of cool, but it's not too cool. Like it's still too warm for a big coat. That's where he was last night. He's got this giant poofy like Alaskan coat. You wanna know who didn't try to look for my coat and give it to me? I did too. Really? Really? Oh. Really? Where were you? I did too. And then where were you? Exactly. I was taped. <laughs> I was dropping you off at work so I had the car. You didn't come back to me. Anyway, guys, so we just got done with Walmart. We're trying to get home so we can get to sleep. He's got to work tonight. As you can tell in the back seat, um, it's kind of bittersweet, but it's exciting at the same time because we have all the supplies for the new truck. So, or the temp truck, I should say. See what happens. But yeah, we got all of our supplies at Walmart. Green $450 we spent. But I have done OTR before, so I decided to plan ahead. And instead of spending all the money at the truck stops, this here would have probably been $1,000 at the truck stop. So, see? I'm thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. Yes, you are. Better to stock up. <laughs> we gotta pack. We bought, like, luggage bags. We gotta pack all of these up in our luggage so I can roll them into RTI tomorrow. It's gonna be funny. I guarantee you I will have more luggage than any student in probably the last five months but hey i'm smart i'm saving money i got my supplies and i'll be ready to hit the road so i can come back and pick bear up for a week yeah i wish you could come out with me the first time i know without quitting my job i won't be able to i know well, that whole thing of being responsible so we know that, because far you know you only get paid 900 a week. Here you get into these lease deals, you hear they're good, you hear they're bad, whatever. They got a lease calculator on there. It's showing that in theory we should be able to make enough to support the both of us going out over the road. But you know how trucking goes. The nice thing that I found out about RTI is month number one, they do not take a truck payment out. So that's supposed to be like help give you a head start as a driver to be able to get some cash generated. So we got that working for us. We'll see how that works out. And then also we'll have a thousand dollar sign on bonus just for lease purchasing the truck. So we should have some pretty nice bonuses coming up right off the bat. And then I will pick Bear up. Hopefully he will turn in notice and we can hit the road OTR and see some of you guys, hopefully. We have to save on all that bear. like cheese. I'm flabbergasted. I... It has been Bear's long-term dream to live in a truck. That is one of the, my biggest nightmares is to literally live in a truck. No, my opinions on it, I would love the fact of being able to be out with you. I do not like the fact of being away from our home that we sat there and built, being away from my mom and dad. And I know I'm gonna sound like a mama and dad's boy. But I don't give a shit because that's just the way I am. I love my parents. I do anything for them. And just absolutely now here to getting better financially. That's the only thing that's letting this be a little easier for me. Because knowing I'm getting a little better financially because my dad had his heart attack. So, no, still recovering from that. But, no, I just don't want to leave for that reason. If something happens, we're in California. And my dad... Uh, stent comes out and he never he doesn't notice because it, he it apparently can fall out and not notice and then he gets put into the hospital again and now we're states away and you know I can't just be like okay I can be with him during the day and then be at work at night and then just get an hour of sleep here and there I can't even do it if I wanted to because we're now out in the truck with 
truck payments and everything exactly. else. So, and that's the one thing that situation. it is, and you know, it's. I think it's the same with most truck drivers out there. I mean, there's there's a portion of people that are like, you know, it's to hell with everybody else. I'm living in my truck. But you know, when it comes to it, it's that whole balance, wanting the home time versus you know, be home time with your family versus running a business and being out on your own and you know taking responsibility to be able to make more money and have more opportunities so that's where we've been at but I think we got a pretty sweet deal we were able to work at least plan without getting into all the nitty-gritty where we will just pay for the truck every week so that if we want to come home we come home and that sort of thing so I think it's gonna work a lot better for us but yeah, it'll be scary financially at first. So we definitely appreciate everybody's support on Patreon. That I was so excited that first day. Like when I popped on, I had went to orientation and had put that video out on YouTube, I think early that morning. And by the time I got out of orientation, we had like, what did we increase? Like 20, 19 Patreons or something. Yeah, like 19 new Patreons by the time I got out of orientation. So. That helped me feel so much better, guys. You know, sitting there nervous about finances and budgets and, you know, seeing that I got all of you guys' support. So, it is awesome. But we're looking forward to this. We're going to treat it like a road trip adventure and upscale all the YouTubing stuff and bring you guys along behind the scenes. So, we're really, really excited. Yeah. Camera's not facing me. When it's not facing me, I don't know. Plus, it's hot in here. I'll get you a gaming setup. You're not gonna get me nothing. <laughs> I have to be the one that gets it and builds it and everything hey. else. Okay. You know how many women would actually take the time to like construct, like, what do you call that? Engineer? Like, write diagrams, blueprints of how potential ideas for creating a gaming setup in a truck. I thought that was pretty creative if I don't see so myself. Okay, you came up with an idea. Build it and then we'll talk. If you build it, they will come. You know what they say. I came. Hey, my blueprints are solid. I was sending him like pictures all night long. Like some of you guys have been in the Volvos. He hasn't got to be in the Volvo. He wanted to be in the Volvo. I wanted him in the Volvo. He wasn't in the Volvo. But the, the place said no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. One said yes. The other one said no. He could have went on it, but the problem was he wasn't on insurance yet. I was on their insurance. He wasn't. I got to wait until I'm assigned the truck so I can get him on the insurance as a writer and then our assets are covered oh by the way we got a we got the first uh first volunteer for bodyguard position it's bobby yeah, porter i think his the last name is bobby out of wichita kansas it was funny he was out there challenging some of the students yeah i'm telling you bobby he was like talking to the other guy he's like in his 60s and he was talking to the other older guy in class he's like i could outrun you and the guy's like, why do you say that? I was a sprinter for 30 years. <laughs> I'm like, holy crap, you can probably outrun me. Yeah, he's like, hey, you guys get real big and need, you know, some extra security and stuff. I'd be happy to do it. And honestly, I would trust the guy. He's smart. You know what I'll say? Challenge yourself to the whole running thing. I can outrun him. Okay, but you've got long legs. It's different. I also have high stamina. It's like having big tires and big gears. That's just overcompensating, pencil dick. <laughs> that's all that's doing. Oh, I got big tires. They can go anywhere. Have you seen your tires? That's, tires that's going to be a new pickup line. I'm going to be like, hey, baby, what's up? You want to see my tires? Oh, you got to see my guy's tires. <laughs> Why are you pimping me out? Because it's a good side hustle. 
<laughs> well, look how that's my thing and you're stealing it for your own. Hey, it isn't easy with a Z. You're stealing my stuff again. This is why I died inside. <laughs> you guys know what this stands for? 666. I worship Satan. You and he not. is my Lord and Savior. My Grizzly. He says seven Hail Marys every morning. 